as you all know, the United States government puts out this diversity lottery program over the years for 55,000 people to come to the United States. It is an opportunity for people to come. And recently, some of the rules have been changed and they are requiring people to have passports. But because we have to use every single tool to tell our story, I thought it, that this diversity uh, visa program can be another tool that you people can use to tell our story. And I can show you, I'm going to show you here, let me share my screen on how you can, you can do this. This is the United States Department of State Bureau of Consular Affairs. So this is the USDV program for 2022. So you see here, it says DV 2022 instructions. So this is the form that you fill. And here, if I click on begin entry here, it's going to ask me for this information. So let me type it in. So it brings you up here to the form. And this is the first part of the form. So if you see, so you will fill your name here, your last name, your first name, your middle name, if you're male or female, date of birth, and then you come up here to city where you were born. So you enter it country where you were born. So you normally put Cameroon. And then you come here where it says passport on number seven. You see a lot of people don't have passports. So a lot of people are disqualified from playing this DV because they don't have a passport. But if you go down to seven B here, you see it says passport exemption. So if you click on this, if you make a selection, you see it blocks these other parts because you say, I am not required to submit passport information because I am. I want you to check this stateless. You see where it says stateless, no nationality. I want you to select that because what you are saying to the United States government is that you are not a citizen of La Republic du Cameroon and you are not obliged to carry a La Republic passport. So you can use this. I want us to use this Part B passport exemption as part of our strategy to fight La Republic with the international community, especially the United States. So you can select, I am not required to submit a passport information because I am stateless. Because you and I, we know we are from the Southern Cameroons, we are from Ambazonia. Our state has not been recognized by the international community. So basically, we are stateless people. We don't have a state. We are like Palestinians living in Lebanon. They don't have a state. Or the Rohingya Muslims that have escaped and they are living in Bangladesh. They don't have a state. So we are stateless. You can go and apply that GV and select that 7B passport exemption and tell the United States government and the rest of the world that you are a stateless citizen. There is a reason why they included that option in the application for those who don't have passports because they know that there are people around the world like you who find themselves in this predicament, who consider themselves stateless. So you are a stateless citizen of the world. You are a citizen of the world, but you don't have a state because the state for which you and I are fighting has not been recognized by the world. So go to that uh, DV, uh, uh, DV lottery application and fill out that application and select option 7B where you don't have to enter a passport information and select the option that you are stateless. That way you'll be making a statement to the, to the government of the United States that you have denounced the Republic the Republic has no control over you and you are not supposed to carry a passport from the Republic and the United States, God willing, will grant you that opportunity to come to the United States and somehow we can continue to fight this fight because this fight still has a very long way to go. God bless you.